Hello, Torah here, bringing you the latest Final Fantasy XIV news. The Moogle treasure trove is back. This time, it's the hunt for lore. This Moogle treasure trove will commence on Tuesday, October 19th at 1 a.m. Pacific, which is 4 a.m. Eastern, and will conclude on the launch of Patch 6.0. Now, for those not aware of what this event entails, the Moogle Treasure Trove entails doing content, and in addition to the regular rewards, we also get this new Moogle Tomestone that is unique to this event, to exchange for a variety of rewards, which we'll get to later. So, any instance that rewards Moogle Tomes has a Moogle icon next to it, so you know it's part of the event without having to check online before you enter. And as usual, note that you can't use the undersized party option, meaning you have to sync to the level of the instance to receive the Moogle Tomes. Also important for those not aware, these Tomes are not like the normal ones that appear in the Currency tab. These Moogle Tomes will only drop to your inventory, so make sure you have space. You don't want to get through the instance and then not receive the rewards at the end. Here are the instances that will award Moogle Tomes during this event. Praetorium will award 10. Castor Meridium will award 7. Amarat will award 5. Borderland Ruins, Secure. Seal Rock, Seize. The Fields of Glory, Shatter. Onsal Hakar, Danshing Nadam and Hidden Gorge will award 3 or 5 depending on a win or a loss. The Ethereal Chemical Research Facility, Belser's Wall, Alamigo, and the Gimlet Dark will award 4. The Labyrinth of the Ancients, Cirrus Tower, World of Darkness, The Binding Coil of Bahamut Turn 1, and The Binding Coil of Bahamut Turn 2 will award 3, Deltascape V 4.0, Sigmascape V 4.0, Alphascape V 4.0, Containment Bay S1 T7, which is Sephiroth, Containment Bay P1 T6, which is Sophia, and Containment Bay Z1 T9, which is Zervin, will award 2. And those are all the normal versions, none of those are savage or extreme versions. Right, now that we've collected Moogle Tomes, where do we exchange them? Why, right here at the itinerant Moogle, which can be found at these locations in each starting city. And now for the rewards. The Inferno Jacket, which we are able to acquire now because of the Blue Mage Challenge at FanFest, will cost 100 Moogle Tomes. The Auspicious Kamui Fife, which comes from Byako Extreme, costs 50. And here's what it looks like. The Dark Lantern Whistle, which comes from Nidhogg Extreme, costs 50. And here's what it looks like. The Modern Aesthetics, styled for hire, would normally be obtainable with wolf marks from PvP, costs 50 tombstones. The Battle Orchestrion Roll, normally obtained in Alphascape V1.0, costs 50 tombstones. The ostensibly special Time Worn Map, times 2, is a level 80 map that guarantees a portal, costs 30 tomes. The Alamegan Barding, costs 30. The Dracorn, Laurel Goo Horn, Elf's Torn, Bomb Palican Horn, and Dire Wolf Whistle, all normally acquired through the Realm Reborn Beast Tribe quests, all cost 
30 tones each. The Xanthos Whistle, normally obtainable through Garuda Extreme, costs 30. The N-Bar Whistle, normally obtained through Leviathan Extreme, also costs 30. And we have an MGP Platinum card, which awards 50,000 MGP, costs 30 tones. And we have a couple of housing items. The Tree Slice Tower, Botanist Dried Herbs, Step Kitchen, Marimo Lamp, and Fat Cat Sofa. Each cost 30 tomes. Then we have the Bonewika Casting Set. It is a five piece set. Ordinarily obtained in the level 70 dungeon, the Swallow's Compass. Each piece is available for 15 tomes. Then we have the riding maps. We have Middle Lanoska, Lower Lanoska, Eastern Lanoska, Western Lanoska, Upper Lanoska, Outer Lanoska, Central Shroud, East Shroud, South Shroud, North Shroud, Western Thanalan, Central Thanalan, Eastern Thanalan, Southern Thanalan, Northern Thanalan, Corthus Central Highlands, and Mordona. All riding maps are 10 tomes each. Then we have the Griffin Hatchling Minion, which is normally acquired with Centurio Seals, is available for 7 Moogle tomes. Then we have the Ariella Polyp minion as well, that is normally acquired through submarine ventures, is available for 7 Moogle Tomes. Then we have the Project Poison Tongue Triple Triad card, the Diablos Hollow Triple Triad card, and the Shinju Triple Triad card for 7 Moogle Tomes. Note that those 3 Triple Triad cards will only be available for exchange once you've completed the quests that relate to them. Then we have the Fliberty Gibbet Orchestrian Roll, normally obtained through Beast Tribe Currency Exchange, is available for 7 Moogle Tomes. The Peace of Mind Orchestrian Roll is also normally obtained through Beast Tribe Currency Exchange is also available for 7 Moogle Tomes. And then we have the Magic Prism Job Mastery Firework x 10, available for 1 Moogle Tome. And that's all the rewards for this round of Moogle Treasure Trove, The Hunt for Lore. What will you be farming for? Let me know in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the bell if you want to be notified when a new video comes out. Thanks for watching! Happy Moogle Tome hunting!